Okay, gonna do a quick one on the uh, air conditioning relay. We can activate it or deactivate it. It's inactive. I'll show you what I've done. Okay, it's inactive. Show you. We'll go and activate it now. Activate F7. Come on. Active. Okay. Now, 14.63 volts, but how do we know that this voltage can actually actuate the clutch and that the wiring is good? I'll show you the next thing. We're going to use the magic tool that will test it all for you very quickly without the wiring diagram. You prove whether or not you have a problem. If you have a problem, it's not going to be so easy. If you don't have a problem, you already know you're done. You don't have to do further checks on there. I'll show you in a minute. Now, we have the air condition. The plug is down there. I already disconnected it and I had it active when you activated. You can hear, I can spin it and I activated with it connected and I could still spin it. So, do I have power at the connector or not? I'm gonna check that next. Okay, got it hooked up with my special connection kit. So we got, that's basically what's going into the clutch. So, we'll use this for a quick check, show you. Normal multimeter. Put it here. It's all hooked up now. Show you. We have nothing on the meter. I just need it to be hooked up like this so I can show you. Put it here. Okay, now you can see 14.68 volts. We're going to substitute this clutch and load the circuit with the Load Pro. Watch. 14.5, 40.6. So, is that enough of a voltage drop that you can say? that the uh, wiring must be bad, so the clutch can't actuate, I would say I know I have enough voltage and no problem with the wiring harness because we just proved it. It took less than six seconds. The wiring is fine all the way back to the battery, through the relays, don't need to look at the wiring diagram. I know the problem has to be from this plug to the clutch somewhere. It's either the clutch or it's the wiring on the clutch. And that's where I need to focus now. I'm, I'm fine, the wiring is good. Okay, that's how quick you diagnose things with a little pro. Thank you. Oh yeah, I thought I'll show you some bonus material. Like, you have these morons say that it is hard to connect the tip is a non-piercing. Yeah, there we go. The tip is non-piercing. It's got this special t 
tip that you're not puncturing through a wire and you can screw on an adapter if you wanted to tool, button Lowe's Pro very good tool thank you okay now the final I have replaced the air conditioning clutch and the problem is fixed the low pro fixed it I'll show you turn it on I'm just gonna make sure air condition we keep it off the engines cold okay turn it on I'll be using the uh, Fleur 1 and I won't be talking until the uh, because of the noise, but you should be seeing the result. Okay. I think that's proof enough that um, the car's fixed with a new clutch and the load pro has helped me with it. There could have been of course no gas in it but um, we had power going to the plug which suggests when you know about air conditioning that there is a switch, most likely a pressure switch that will kill the power to the uh, thing or there could now be not enough gas in it or whatever that be a whole different story that's air conditioning which I have sort of started learning as well but it has nothing to do with the load pro the load pro is a very good tool and it took me literally less than two minutes to to, to be sure that I needed a clutch okay thank you